Hello everyone. Good evening, good afternoon. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing from my very special box here a card that was given to me by a very special lady who at the time that I received the card really wasn't that special to me. I was in my young 20s. This would have been somewhere in the late 80s maybe, mid to late 80s. And I was kind of a little, you know, hard-headed, kind of a grouchy, sometimes sweet young lady. I was a mother of two, a young single mother of two, uh, struggling, making not so much money, working at a nursing facility in Texas. And this card is actually a card that was given to me around Christmas time. It says, Happy Holidays on the front of the card and I believe it was probably given to me maybe around 1989, 1988, I'm thinking 1989, possibly 1990, but probably 1989. So I worked at a nursing facility and I was a part of the administrative staff. So I came on board as a word processor this is when word processing was so huge. It was before Microsoft Office came out. It was, I think I was using uh, WordPerfect at the time. So I was a word processor using a WordPerfect program at this nursing facility. And I became friends with another lady who was a part of the administrative staff. I believe she might have even been the accountant. Her name was Joni, and I believe she was a lady who uh, did payroll. Again, her name was Joni. So she gave me a Christmas card one year, and this is what it says. Dear Lena, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. My thoughts are with you this season, and I hope things are good for you. I hope this money helps. I wish I could do more. All my love, Joni, sending you wishes for a season filled with love. Merry Christmas, love, Joni, and children. Now, this means a lot to me because at the time, I was a, a struggling single mother. I hardly earned enough money to pay my rent. I struggled to make a car payment. I believe at the time I might have been making $5 an hour. This would have been in the 80s with two children. And that's, that was what I earned back then as a word processor. And so times were hard and, and difficult. And I'm guessing by reading this card, um, she, she did payroll. She probably knew I hardly had enough to make it um, from one payday to the next. And she had it in her heart to give me a little money. Now, what's so interesting about this is Joni and I were frenemies. Um, we had a spat at some point at the office and we stopped talking to each other. And I was probably being really mean to her, vice versa. I don't know if it was a misunderstanding it was over 30 years ago, probably more like 35 years ago, something like that, 34. So we had gotten into it about something probably was not important at all. But she still liked me and she still cared enough for me to give me a Christmas card with a little money in it. It probably had $100 in there, something like that. She had children herself. And that was so incredibly helpful. And I'm sure I didn't give her anything. I might have given her a card, but I'm sure I didn't give her a gift. I wouldn't have had the resources to give her a gift back then. Anyway, as I was saying, we had had a disagreement about something at some point. And we were being nice, nasty to each other. And then one day she came into the office and gave me 
a gift with a card. And she walked up to me and she said, here is a peace offering. She gave me a peace offering. That's the first time anyone up to that point had ever given me a peace offering. And whatever I was harboring in my heart against her at the time was immediately uh, wiped away. I was so grateful for her doing something like that for me and I actually never forgot. When you are at odds with some, someone and you don't know how to apologize, a peace offering is such a wonderful way to say I'm sorry. A peace offering can be flowers, it can be just a nice little card. Nowadays it can be an email where you say, if you can't say I'm sorry, maybe you can say, hey, you know what, I'm feeling a little bit better today, do you want to go on a Starbucks run, you want to go have lunch or something like that. And that could be your way of apologizing. Anything that you do to make amends, to make things better, any kind of sacrifices that you make um, to restore your relationship with someone else, that could be considered a peace offering. It could be maybe you bake something, you, can, you bring someone some cookies if you're a baker. You don't even have to say anything. Sometimes people just don't know how to express themselves. And cards are such a wonderful way to do that. That's why I keep my cards. This card, again, is very, very old. It's in very good shape. And as I was thinking about this peace offering and it, what it means to forgive and be forgiven, I decided to just look up peace offering in the dictionary. I have my cute little notepad that I purchased from Barnes and Noble long time ago. So it says, peace offering. Peace offering is a gift or service for the purpose of procuring peace or reconciliation. Wouldn't this world be a better place if we could all swallow just a little bit of pride and say I'm sorry or you know, you, you've been such a good friend, I miss having lunch with you, or I would really like it if we could restore our relationship. If you don't know how to tell a person, then just do something nice. Make them a meal. Volunteer to babysit their children, or do this. Walk by them and smile. I do that sometimes. Sometimes I'll just walk by a person and go, and just keep going, you know? Could be a total stranger, could be someone that I know and love, but it is so nice when someone just kind of glances your way and gives you a really big smile. So if you are at odds with anybody, any of you out there watching this video, and you really want to have that relationship restored you know, it's something that just has been on your, your heart and on your mind. Could be months, could be years. But, you know, that was your friend or that was your favorite cousin, you know, and you want that relationship back. Why don't you go and buy a card? And, and if you don't know what to say, buy a card that says it all, okay? And at the end of, at the bottom of the card, below the message, you could say something like, miss you, miss you girl, and sign your name, or hey bro, you know, miss talking to you. Sign your name. You can drop it in the mail to them. You can, if it's a coworker, you can wait until they're away from their desk, stick it on their desk. You can leave it on their car windshield. It's kind of a chicken way of doing it, but it's so effective at restoring relationships. Passing a note, giving a card. You could shoot them an email, sure. You could 
give them a phone call, sure. But there's something about putting it in writing because that's something that they can hold on to and read over and over and over and over again and keep it and save it. So learn to be a peacemaker. Learn to restore your relationships by doing nice things, by giving cards or peace offerings, whatever that peace offering is. For me, I absolutely adore coffee, especially Starbucks coffee. So if someone wants to uh, get on my good side, all they have to do is give me a Starbucks gift card. Of course, inside of a nice little envelope. And I'm telling you, we are, we're BFFs after that. They're my best friend. <laughs> so whatever you know a person loves, um, go ahead and do that nice thing for them. Whatever it takes to restore a relationship. Um, no sense in prolonging the anger or whatever. You know, people need people. We need each other. And apparently I needed Joni. Apparently I needed some money. And she knew it. And when our relationship was restored, she blessed me with a financial gift. And I am so grateful for that. And I make sure that nowadays I pay it forward. I try to do the same thing uh, from time to time to others. And of course, I don't say anything to anyone about it. You just kind of do it and keep going, you know. You just give them a blessing, you know. It's the, it's the good thing to do. It's the Christian thing to do. And you're being a good example to family members, friends, and children when you do things to make the load a little lighter for someone else. So, thank you, Joni, for this card. Thank you for the peace offering. Thank you for the money. Thank you for the fond memories. Thank you all for joining me this evening or this afternoon. And I believe I am going to be doing this uh, twice a week. I will be bringing you videos on Thursday evenings and Sunday evenings. And hopefully some of you all will leave me some comments. Maybe you can share some of your stories. And if this channel picks up subscribers or if I can see that I'm having a lot of views on my videos, I think what I'll do is I'll start bringing people on to chat with me about some of their uh, favorite cards and give some little stories behind their cards as well. So you all have a wonderful um, evening or afternoon. Enjoy this wonderful fall weather and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.